Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So I am coming to you with a uh, flip through of my big happy planner. I said I was going to do a flip through. Um, this planner is like 95% ready for 2020. Um, and so I'm pumped. So if you watched my last planner video, you know that I switched from having three planners, which was um, a classic size catch-all, a skinny classic fitness and a mini mental health planner to so having everything in here. I'm going to preface this by saying in 2020, I'll probably add another planner. Like I'm not, let me, let me back up. I'm going to preface this by saying I plan on using this whole planner for 2020, but I started a business in 2018. I'm sorry, 2019. And I think I want to keep my appointments and stuff separate. I don't know. So I might have another planner added. But in terms of everything else, this is the big baby. This is this is what it is. Um and so I didn't I didn't keep track of my appointments because I didn't have any. I just started the business in 2018. But now that I'm gathering appointments and putting them in, they might be its own planner. I'm just letting you know that us planner junkies, it can go either way. But I have a feeling that this is going to be the catch-all for a while because there's a lot of important things in here. And the main reason that I love this planner is not that I can fit everything in it, but it's that it's so easy to customize in terms that it holds 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, and so I can just print things and punch them. Like, it don't have to cut, don't have to scale. Absolutely wonderful. So let's go ahead and open it up. This, the only thing that might change uh, aesthetically is this cover, the rose gold. I like it, but I really want the navy blue one, just having gone around to ordering it. Um, but anyway, this quote says, beautiful isn't always perfect. I got it because it was on a clearance sticker at Joanne's Fabrics. So, I'm going to open it up. And in here, I wish I could fit the whole thing in frame. Ah, here we go. In here, we have, uh, my dashboard that came from my classic with the sticky notes on it. I made this. Uh, then we have a couple of envelopes that this one has coupons and stuff in it. This one is empty right now. We shall see. Have a pocket here. Some documents. All right, and then the first half of this planner is not the planner. If you guys have been following me, I put everything in the planner. So the first half of this planner, before we even get to the months, is crap. It, not crap in a bad way, but my crap. So the first section we have is a notes section. Actually, I can take this page out because I was going to write... I'll erase it, actually. I was going to write my subscriptions, like things that come out of my account every month, but I put them in a different area. So I'm going to take my <laughs> friction uh, pen, and we're going to erase that. Save that piece of paper. No need to be wasteful. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, anyway. Anyway, so I have some note paper. I take a lot of notes. Like, I jot a lot of things down. It's line paper and graph paper because I'm not wasting this paper. Uh, the next section is, I'm going to keep this a little personal. The next section, private, this is my work section. And this is where I keep notes from work of things that I'm working on. You guys know I work in a lab, so, yeah. Uh, but I keep more note paper in there. Also in the back, I have uh, some work documents like, oh my God, what am I trying to say? My benefits and things like that so I can know like what my co-pays are, little sheet that they give you. Um, I also have like how much money comes out of my paycheck each month in terms of um, each pay for the benefits and stuff. Just so I can keep track of those things. Because I'm this 2020 is the year of my finances and yeah, that's what that is. All right, and then the next section, it's already breaking off. This is my school section. I don't write much in here. And usually when I write it, I take it out because it's like notes and scratch paper and I'm writing things before I type the paper, whatever, and then I'm done with it. But I do have paper in here for that. Also in the back, I have some information on some PhD programs that I am currently trying to choose between. So there you go. Then the next section is a YouTube. Um, so I have a YouTube checklist. Um, this is actually a classroom checklist page. It's from the little teacher's edition thing. Um, and... I change it to a YouTube checklist, so you write the video here, and then you write film, edit, upload, and you check them off as you want to do them. You see, I got a lot of videos I want to do. Um, and then I have some notes here, because I'm filming some sneak peeks. I am filming my best of products for the year, so you might see that before this. I don't know. Uh, and then you have my... So then the next section, sorry, is my goals section, goals, and... I kept my weight loss tracker from my classic planner. 
Um, as you can see, I weighed in today. It was a little rough these past two weeks with the holiday with Thanksgiving. I went up a couple pounds. Um, but and as my weigh in today, today was Sunday. I am back on track to losing. I lost two pounds this week. So I'm back on track and I'm down almost 36 pounds. 35.8 to be exact. Can't color that 36 in until it's really 36 pounds. So yeah, you got that. Um, and my master plan for school is still the same. I made this. This is the goal section. I made this. This is my goals, my 2020 goals um, for the year. I don't mind sharing them with you all. Uh, and I did this little quote, be the you of your dreams. This has been my quote for like three years because I love this quote. And this is me fully glam on Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, I just did this goal sheet. Um, I used some craft paper and I don't know, just to visualize the goals, it's like a vision board. So my goals are to pay off my credit cards every month, something that I don't always do. Save five grand. Um, I should put at least because I'm already on track. Um, but you know, anyway, <sighs> way under 200 pounds, reach my goal weight graduate with my master's degree be happy with my living situation because we want to move but like looking for things sucks and like i um i need more space just like i put that on there just wherever i'm living i gotta be happy with what i got eat healthier which is a very weird goal because i can't measure that but i put it on there uh advance my career goals raise my credit score 100 points which is a lot that's very ambitious your credit score only goes to 850 i think very ambitious, but whatever. Uh, read at least eight books and start and build an emergency fund. I will admit I had an emergency fund at some point. Right now, it's next to nothing. So, um, yeah, we're going to build it back up. Um, you know, life, it is what it is. So, and then I have these goal sheets here. These goal sheets is are goal sheets is, are those goals that I listed kind of like breaking them down because it's one thing to state a goal. It's another thing to actually break it down into smaller, achievable little milestones. I got these offline somewhere. So I'm putting each, each card, I mean, each goal on one of these and really breaking it down. So yes, I'm serious about my goal setting. Goal setting is important, you guys. Um, even if you don't reach all of them, you make progress as you go. Um, and then the next section, that's just some paper. The next section is my finance section. Um, 2020 is going to be the year of saving. I save money. I always save when I get, you know, get paid. I always save, um, something each month. However, it's not as much as I want to save and it's not as much as I can afford to save now that I'm making more money. So I need to sit down and be aggressive about it. And I'm excited about it. So I set a goal to, to, uh, save $5,000. Um, and I wasn't specific with, I have two jobs, by the way, two jobs. And then YouTube is like a third mini income. Um, but I'm just talking about based on one job. Um, not saying I'm going to lose those other jobs, but I like to do that based on one job and what I can do with one. And that way, any other money is extra money that can go in the savings. I don't know. It's a mental thing. I don't know. So this, um, page, well, it's a personal page. just like my paycheck deductions and stuff I'm paying off. <laughs> this is my 2020 savings goal. With one of my jobs, I want to save $5,000 this year. Well, it's 4800 because it's $400 a month, but math, but... Um, I want to save at least four hundred dollars um, for the for uh, per month uh, with one of my jobs. With ac when actually I just set up today my automatic starting in January, my first pay in January, my automatic stuff going to savings. I actually have it to go three hundred dollars a paycheck, which will be six hundred dollars a month. But I just put four on here just to be modest because we have those things that things come up and things like that. Just to be modest, but. There you go. And then this is my uh, bills that come out each month. I know my phone bill's really high. Don't judge. There's a lot of people on it. Uh, um, that help pay it. Uh, Spotify, Hulu, Disney Plus, Adblock. My credit cards. Um, these are the minimums each month. However, I'm I carry zero balances on my credit cards. So, but I just put it there because you never know. You, you know. And then I have these expense tracker pages. This all came from the budget accessory pack from Happy Planner. So I didn't have to make these. Um, I didn't have to make them. So I got a bunch of them in there. All right. And then we have a pocket. And now we're into December. I know we did all that. I didn't even get to the, the layout yet. So 
December. This is my December mood tracker. Um, it's Christmas presents and everything like that. This is the mood tracker uh, for December. December did not come with the planner. The planner actually starts in January, but I bought the uh, dashboard layout extension pack kit and made <clears throat> December with stickers and stuff. So I have a little gold page, my monthly layout, uh, and these are the... I've been working on... It's hard to... Uh, decorate this big one, like fill up the space, but I'm working on it. So this week spread is red themed. Um, and so that's what this week's spread is going to be. Well, starting tomorrow. And then next week, I it's Christmas, so I had to do Christmas. Um, I don't know when this video is going to go up. Hopefully, I guess it has to go up this week because yeah, next week is Christmas. So I did that. Now, I need your help. I found these great, this great yearly habit tracker online. So it has, uh, you put it like, you see, it has the whole year. And you can track something. I don't know what to track for the whole year. Um, the only thing I can think of is hours of sleep and steps. Although I don't really care about hours of sleep. And I'm thinking about putting my steps on these pages that's already in the happy planner. So I don't know, I really want to use this and color it in. I think it'd really be pretty. I don't know if I want to do a yearly mood tracker because I kind of enjoy changing my mood tracker up each month. I don't know. Let me know. So anyway, this is the planner. January mood tracker is a bookshelf. See? All right, and I have already decorated three months of 2020 because I love decorating the monthly layout. So this is January, obviously New Year themed. And then February, I did Black History Month because I did not want to do Valentine's Day. So ain't she cute? This is February, okay? And then I did March. So with March, it's so funny because March... I did not want to do flowers because I'm going to do April showers, bring May flowers. So May's monthly layout will be flowers. And I don't like the repeat layouts. So I was like, how can I make March look springtimey without flowers? You guys, it was a challenge, but I love it. I used my Wrong Wrong Girls seasonal sticker book as well as a couple um, just random decorate decor decorative sticker books. And here's March. How pretty and springy is that with no flowers? These leaves, the Happy Planner loves these leaves. So I had some washi tape with these leaves on it. Blooming. I got the girls from the seasonal part that uh, have, you know, springtime themes. Her dress has the leaves on it. I thought it was perfect. So I did that. And then we have, yeah, that's it. I didn't do April and May because I need to get some water rain shower stickers. Um, but I'm ahead of the game with the monthly layouts and I'm really excited about 2020 and my goals. Let me know your goals for 2020. Let me know, um, just in general, what, what you're ready for in 2020, what you're ready to leave behind in 2019, what you're ready to bring with you to only make better in 2020. Let me know. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything I said, uh, leave it down below. I love you all. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.